Alrighty, folks. <laughs> this is it. The moment is finally here. We got Batmom in the game. Her legendary banner is, well, I guess legendary slash mythic banner is here. So, Emblem is a mythic. Veronica is a legend. I am going to be sniping red on this banner. I thought about it for a while. I, I was really debating whether I should just dump my entire load on this banner and go balls deep. But I, I decided against it. I'm just going to get one copy of Embla and call it a day for now. I weighed my options and I thought there's probably going to be a better banner down the line at some point that will be a better idea for me to dump my orb stash on. And that's what I'm just going to hold out for for now. I don't have the Fey Pass at the moment, but here's what we'll do. We'll summon until I get to the 40 out of 40. And if we don't have Embla by that point, I'll just buy the Fey Pass and we'll spark her. But if we manage to pull her in time and we don't need the Fey Pass, then we're just going to dip and call it a day right there. So we're going to snipe red. I'm not going to hit full, full circles for the discounts. We're just going to hit red. There are actually some units. Oh, you're <laughs> right out the gates. Free pulled a Nana right there. Okay, Legendary Nana is a very good unit, obviously. She's kind of like a Cav version of Brave Alm with his refine. We got minus speed and plus defense. Obviously, that's not ideal. Nana is a desperation unit, so she does want a lot of speed. But, I mean, can't complain. We got Nana on a freebie there. That's really good. Actually, my freebie luck has been out of control lately. I free pulled Ganglot on her original banner. Who else did I? I free pulled another crazy one. I think it was Ninja Corin on the rerun of her ninja banner. So the luck has actually been pretty fire for me as of late in terms of free pulls. Also, I free pulled Ascended Joshua on that Ascended Return banner. So that was pretty good. Okay, so besides red, the other two things that I would possibly want to get here are um, Ascended Celica and also Legendary Deirdre. I think I just barely want Deirdre a little bit more, so I'm going to go for her. <laughs> both of them are obviously very good. They both have Miracle. And Wily is going to be doing a massive summoning session later today where she's going to try to finish plus 10-ing her legendary Deirdre. So hopefully Sis can get the good luck there. <laughs> I decided not to go for a plus 10, so I'm just summoning here casually. Oh, <laughs> okay, so... We got two out of three down already. We have Veronica, now we have Nana, or we have Nana, now we have Veronica in the hatch. This Veronica is plus attack minus defense. That is perfectly fine by me. I didn't check IVs yet, so I actually don't know what the IVs are for these units. Your boy was sleeping like a baby, <laughs> awaiting mommy's drop into the game. I was waiting for her to come out, and you know, honestly... Yo, what, what is going on here? Is, is this about to turn into a plus 10 stream? Because look at this luck. We just pulled mana again. This time we got plus attack, which is way better. Okay, we'll merge the other one we got that was minus speed into this one. So we can at least get rid of the bane there. Yo, we, <laughs> we're getting some good luck here. Maybe I should just actually dump all my orbs. Because at this rate, it, it's looking pretty favorable. We'll see, though. We'll see. I, I mean, I could say that, and then we don't even get Embla, or <laughs> we just go the rest of these summons without any other 5-star. But so far, Lux has been pretty good. Let me know in the comments, also, if you guys are summoning on this banner, which I'm sure most people will be if you care about summoner duels or Aether raids, because Embla is just that good. So her new C skill, Severance, is basically going to inflict... Impenetrable Dark and also Nullify Save on all the enemies in range. It's a three column and three, um, three column and three row radius centered on her, which extends all the way to the top of the map, which is ludicrous. I can't believe they gave that effect such a massive radius of effect. Also, it doesn't have any stat checks on it either, which a lot of people are complaining about. I agree. I think. That skill is just a little bit overtuned considering what it's doing and how easy it's going to be to use it. So, we'll see. Okay, we pulled the tier 1 goat right there. <laughs> Shoutouts to Zashado. Right, I've never been a Laszlo or Inigo fan, but, I mean, there he is. 
Okay, so what, what else is there to talk about on this banner? So I guess maybe the reason why I decided not to go for the plus 10 is because... We're probably going to get the Hero Rises banner that's going to be another, like, all units on one color deal again. That's what I'm hoping for. Last time we had all green, so it was the green dream. It seems pretty likely this year it's going to be an all red banner, because we've had some really good red units this time. So, Embla, of course. Veronica may be in there. Duo Chrom is a pretty easy choice. So, that's already three red units down, and then... There have been other good red units released this year as well. Like, Ninja Camilla is pretty good. So, that's what I'm holding out for. I, I think by the time March comes around, which is when we get the Hero Rises banner, I'll probably have, like, 2,000... Maybe not 2,000, but I'll, I'll have a significant amount of orbs. Good enough to guarantee a plus 10 by that time. Okay, we got a fake out alm pull there. I, I'm like one more copy away from getting this guy to plus 10, and that's all from Pity Breaks, by the way. That is how common that OG alm has been for me. Unfortunately, it's not Brave alm, right? But I'll take it, I guess. Alm is alm. Still got double lion. Okay, as far as red, like, four-star and three-stars go, I guess Kamui would be pretty good. None of them score in the new 190 bin, though, so it's not like I'm going to be able to get a pretty good scoring unit out of the red merges here. Best thing I could probably get is Kamui or Skatcher. Okay, we got J-Pop Waifu. That is not Kamui or Skatcher. Right, we're almost halfway to the Spark. Okay, we got blue and colorless. We'll go for blue. Like I said, I would prefer to get Legendary Deirdre as opposed to getting Ascended Celica. Although, more Broccoli Florets would be good. Alright, let's go ahead and hop out of there. So, I think I was talking about also, like, other reasons why I decided not to go for the plus 10. And, you know, honestly, I thought about also what kind of value I would get from having any of these units at plus 10. And I don't necessarily think it's that important to have any of these guys at plus 10. The legendaries will be good for scoring and... <laughs> okay, I can't even finish my sentence. There is Bat Mom. We managed to pull her. We didn't need the Fey Pass or anything. We got the hat trick. We got all three of the legendary heroes. We also pulled an extra copy of Nana as well. Minus attack plus HP. That is not ideal, but I don't really care. Bro, we pulled... Four five stars in 21 summons. That's kind of good. That's kind of good, bro. Should I keep going here? Like, the luck is actually turning out pretty good. I feel like I might have to just keep going here. Hold on. Because if the luck is going to be this good, I... I mean, I, I wasn't expecting to get... This many five stars this quickly. You, you know what? We'll, we'll keep going. Why not? I, th this was completely unintentional. I didn't want to go like super deep on this banner, but I mean, if we're going to be pulling hot fire like this, we might as well. All right, we'll, we'll at least go to the 40 out of 40 and we'll see what happens. If the luck starts cooling down, I'll just get the Fey Pass. I'll spark somebody and then we'll call it a day. Probably a second copy of Embla, honestly. Just get two Emblas. Have her in, like, slot 2 and slot 4 on your defense team in AR. And then that way she can target the entire bottom of the map. So you're going to inflict Nullify save on all the enemies. Then your other units can just be a bunch of Cav units and completely break the opponent in half. Remember how bad Cav lines were before save skills? <laughs> That's basically what's going to be happening here. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's a pretty good fake out. That, that's just about as good as it gets. So we got the fake out on Brave Hector. Mine is still not at plus 10. This is like plus 3 for me. So I, I'm definitely going to take that. I, I guess all the more reason we should be pulling on blue here as opposed to colorless. Alright, we're keeping. We're going to keep going. You know, I should probably live stream. <laughs> if the luck is going to be this good, this is live stream worthy for sure. But I, I mean, <laughs> everything is not set up at the moment. I'm just, I was not intending to summon like this hard right now. 
Okay, we got Scatcher. That is good. I think this is like my fourth copy of him. So we need seven more to get him plus ten. Although I'm probably not going to go for it anymore though. Because he only scores 185. And we've gotten the Grail units at this point can score in the 190 bin. Like Holst and also the Flame Mordecai. Those are really good merge projects right now. So I think I'm going to focus on them before trying to go for one of these, like, demote heroes right now. All right, we'll go for blue. All right, that, what would cap it off right now is if we just managed to get, like, Celica on the way out or Deirdre before we get to the spark. <laughs> We're getting a lot of red orbs, though. We are getting pretty lucky with the red orbs. Yeah, so there is good boy Morgan. Very good refine on him for a demote. Well, I, I guess I say that, and that was a while ago. Another fake out. Dude, we pulled how many fake outs already? We got Alm, we got this guy, Keaton, and then we had Brave Hector. <laughs> Pretty good fake out luck as well. Altogether, we've gotten like eight five stars or something. It's pretty nutty. <laughs> Pretty nutty indeed. And this guy is plus speed minus res. You would want plus attack on him, but he does have special spiral fodder, and he also has the um the beast valor skill which is pretty good for grinding sp <laughs> definitely going to be good for embla i'm probably going to just have him on the team and grind up embla right after this all right we got five more till the spark i i didn't spend too many orbs on this banner so i'm i'm pretty satisfied overall we got a lot of good stuff yeah i don't think i need a plus 10 here even though the luck was pretty nutty at the start. It, it seems like it's cooling down now, so... This seems like as good a time as any to call it a day. Oh, bro. <laughs> Yo, what is this video? We pulled Deirdre too? <laughs> Shoutouts to Wiley. Okay, what did I say if we managed to get one of the two, Julia or... or Deirdre or Celica on the way out? That would have been the tits. And that's exactly what happened. So, wow. Plus res, minus HP. Res is very good for her. I think she needs a res stat check to get her miracle to proc. Let me just double check that. No, she doesn't need a res check. At least for the miracle. But res is good, though, because it can add damage to her. Okay. Yo, th this has been... Probably the most successful summoning I've done <laughs> since I stopped summoning so long ago. It's been months and months since the last time I did a summon, guys. And, of course, my orb count was an easy way to tell. But, yeah, th this is good. I'm very satisfied by the way things went here. I have absolutely no complaints whatsoever. We got one more summon to do before the spark. So, I'm going to go ahead and do it. And then we'll end the video I'll, off camera. I'll just buy the Fae Pass and I'll spark somebody. So that's going to wrap us up for this summoning session, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed the hot fire, like the craziest fire that I could have ever asked for. So this is your boy Tacho signing out. Hope you guys have as good of luck as I did here tonight. And I will catch y'all again on the flip side.